Hello and welcome to Minecraft Education Edition with me, Adam Clark. Today I'm going to do a tutorial about how to create a void world, a world with nothing in it. Okay. Now this uh, ability has been given to us by Java Edition, but we haven't had it in Minecraft Bedrock or um, Education Edition. And I want to kind of go through some of the kind of techniques that you can use to create your own void world, and then I'll show you what you can do with a void world once you've created it. So we're going to go and create a new world here. And we've got lots of different kind of th cool things we can create, but we want to create a new world up the top here. We're going to create, we're going to call it Void World, uh, Void World. Okay, let's make it creative to start off with. Let's make it m nice and peaceful. And the world type down here, we're going to have it as a flat world. Okay, infinite means that it kind of uh, generates a topographical kind of world with biomes and all that kind of stuff. Flat nice flat world okay but we don't even want flat but we're going to create a flat world to start off with uh, let's do uh, show coordinates why not always day I kind of like uh, never like that classroom settings I don't need that right now let's go and create it so I'm just going to create this new world called void world and there we go okay just turn myself around give you a little bit of a wave hello everybody and then press escape and save and quit and we're done Okay, and as, far, as far as that goes, we're done in terms of creating a setting up our world. Now I'm going to just uh, shrink this world down a little bit down here, and you can kind of see, oh, there's, there's me in the background. Uh, I'm going to go up to this thing at the top here called MCC Tool Chest PE. You can download this from mcctoolchest.com. Uh, if you do Google the MCC Tool Chest, you might come up with a, like a Weebly one or things like that. Use this link that goes there. We can go down to download. There are tutorials and stuff like that. There you can kind of download it. You might require uh, some uh, uh, VS uh, C++ runtime stuff uh, and other bits and pieces as well. Have a read through that. But basically what you need is this. It turns up on my desktop up at the top like this. And this is what it looks like. It's you know nice and blank, nothing really there. We're going to say file and open. And we're going to look for, I mean, this and it opens my bedrock edition of Minecraft. So we need to select a folder. And what I need to do is I need to find where my stuff is. Now it's difficult to find where your stuff is. I could go to Windows. I could go down. Well, I, I know it's going to be in, uh, in in users. It's going to be in my user thing. It's going to be in local. It's But I sort of, it, I run into invisible files and in folders in there. Okay, so I'm going to cancel that. And I'm going to just open up just any old window. And I've created shortcuts down the side for quick access to my uh, education edition world. If we go back, um, we can kind of go, look, there's my the common people, app data, local packages. And then if in packages, we see we've got two packages that are kind of interesting to us. We've got Minecraft, uh, UWP, and then a load of old junk there. And then Microsoft Minecraft Education Edition. This is the one we want. This is the one I've created up top down here over on the left. The bottom one is education. The top one is Minecraft uh, Bedrock double click it anyway if you find it there it's in local state it's in games it's in com.mojang it's minecraft worlds it's going to be the one i created this morning so it's going to be this one here if i double click this funny name over here we can kind of see we've got level name dot text let's double click that and we can open it up and it says void world that's just for me to confirm i've got the right world because i'm gonna now i'm gonna just dump this on my desktop okay uh it might be hard for my computer. I think I'm going to be safe, so I'm going to say OK. Once it's on my desktop, though, I can now use MCC Tool Chest to open it up, and it's going to be easily found because I can just go to my desktop and look for it there. Press OK. This now opens up that file on my desktop and gives us access to level.data, and in here we have all sorts of delicious stuff. Uh, we even have player data and stuff like that, you know, the player health, uh, we have uh, other kind of other forms of data, which includes uh, biome data, my villages overworld, and if we've created any books and stuff like that, that's where the book data will be, and some information about overworld stuff too. Uh, these are actual chunks, and you can kind of see the chunks that actually started spawning in as well. There's one, there's one, there's one. We'll deal with them in a moment. The first thing we're going to do is go to the level.dat file. And down here we can kind of see we've got uh, lots of we've kind of we can change things. Okay, it says allow destructive objects. One is that's a one or a not. That's a kind of a positive or a negative. And a lot, so a lot of these are boolean arguments. 
We're interested in creating a void world though. So this, so if we go down here, we create a flat world, but here we can actually describe the flat world layers, what they are made of. So I'm going to double click this and we get something that looks like JSON, uh, which is a kind of it's a coding language. What we need to look do is sort of read through it. It says BiomeID one block layers and whatever. So BiomeID, we can kind of go hmm, BiomeID Minecraft Biome ID. Press return. Okay, so Biome official wiki. We can go there and have a look at the official wiki. So we can kind of go. Oh right, there's all this kind of stuff here. So ice planes would be twelve. Ice plane with spikes would be one forty. Extreme Hills is three. So we can actually change the biome by this little number in the side. Planes is one. So the default, okay, is one. Let's go back to um, back to here. So biome is one. That's fine. We'll, we'll leave it that. I don't might really mind that. Then it says block data, zero. Block ID, seven. Okay, so if we think about well, what, what's... If we create a flat world, you'll have bedrock, then some dirt, then grass on top. Okay, and we can see that we've got block ID seven. I think that's bedrock, which is count one, and then some uh, some block data, and then block ID three, count two, uh, which is dirt, and then finally uh, some block ID two, uh, count one, okay, which is grass. So let's do this. Block ID zero. Oops, zero. Okay, block ID zero. Uh, and I don't, you don't have to change the count, you can if you want to, but it really doesn't matter because block ID zero is air. Okay, so we're just creating block a uh, blocks of air. Okay, and we're going to say okay, and then we're going to go down to overworld because we did when we first created the world, we sort of spawned in a load of chunks. We're going to delete those chunks right now. Uh, and these are the chunks that we del that we uh, that we spawned in. We can kind of see a kind of a, a weird circle uh, forming. Up. And we just right click this. We can delete all. Yes, I do want to delete that chunk. And delete all. Yes, please. That'd be very good. And delete all. Yes, thank you very much. And finally, delete all. Perfect. We're done. We've now created a void world. Let's go and save it. Okay. And we can finally close this. And restore it to its folder. Okay, uh, we need to do move to Minecraft Worlds. Okay, let's go back into um, Minecraft Education Edition, and there I am in my void world. So if I click on that, it should, fingers crossed, go and have a look at the kind of the, the map that we've got that we just changed. And there I am. I'm falling. I'm f <laughs> let's fly up quickly. Okay, we can see the lighting in the background is kind of flashing a little bit. That's kind of going, whoa, 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 there was lighting changes, lighting changes, over, and then it settles down uh, as it was looking, because the lighting changes were recorded in the first one because it had some landscape there, and then they disappeared afterwards. So there's a kind of like a little quick interplay. We're done. We're now in a void world, okay? There's nothing here for miles and miles. So the first thing you can do is you can do set block, okay? And then uh, tilde, tilde, tilde. Let's do some stone. Okay. And there we go. We've got a little, a little stone area. Okay. And we, we've got a kind of a point of reference. Okay. So there we are, our point of reference. Now, there we're done. Okay. You can build anything in this void world, spaceships, all sorts of stuff. You could even set, you know, set, uh, set uh, time uh, night. Okay. Oh, time set night, isn't it? Time set night. Okay, uh, and we could have a, a space adventure. We could put a spaceship in here. We've got all sorts of things in here. That's kind of the point of Void Worlds. They're kind of they're good for uh, getting rid of the landscape and putting your own stuff in. So let's have a look very quickly, very briefly. I'm going to save uh, and quit that, and then just minimise it as well. Uh, I'm going to show you something else, which I think is rather important because it's all very well creating a, a Void World. But there are other ways of, of working with this stuff too. There's something called MC Edit, um, and for those of you who know what I'm talking about, hooray! Uh, it's never really worked in the past in Bedrock Edition, uh, but there are uh, there's a version out at the moment, uh, and there are continually to be conversions that kind of being produced that are able to open Bedrock and uh, and in actual fact Minecraft Education Edition maps. I'll leave this link. This is uh, a link from uh, Podshot's GitHub, and there are MC Edit Unified, 
testing Windows 32 and testing Windows 64. Um, download one of these if you're using a Windows machine. You do need Windows, unfortunately. It doesn't really work on a Mac at the moment, but there you go. Uh, if you can, uh, if you can kind of work it out for yourself. And again, it says this is a testing build. Use precautions, backup data. So always copy something, or maybe maybe make sure that you've exported your world to the desktop just in case it all goes horribly wrong. Uh, that should go without saying, but just remember, export the worlds, back them up somewhere, then have a little play around. Uh, then if you do make horrible mistakes, and I've made a few of them recently, uh, you've always got backups of the world too. So here we are inside of MC Edit, and uh, for those of you familiar with it, it looks really familiar, except this one can actually open up Bedrock Edition and Java Edition maps at the same time. Okay, Well, not at the same time, at different times, but it can do both, which is pretty amazing. So the first thing I want to do is I want to open up our map, and I press open like this, and brilliantly for us, it's got a kind of like a little, uh, you know, it's, it allows us to see uh, our, our normal kind of Windows area, and I can kind of go to my Minecraft worlds, and that's my Minecraft world that we just created, uh, that's the void world, double click that, double click the level dot that, and here we are inside of our Minecraft world. It's brilliant. We can do all sorts of things in here. We can um, we can actually fill the space up with kind of uh, with, with all sorts of stuff. We can kind of we can make selections like this. Uh, we can fly around. It takes a little bit of practice, and I think that's a tutorial all on its own. Uh, what I'm just going to do is show you something really kind of cool. Uh, so I'm just going to fly back here, and I'm going to create a big square. Okay. One of the kind of curious things about Bedrock is that um, it tries to, it, 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 it's got this thing called subchunks, okay? So it only really wants to, um, if you build up naturally in Minecraft, up, 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 it will create the chunks above you. But if you don't, then it's just gonna go, ah, whatever, I'm gonna ignore them, okay? So when we're kind of editing those things, if we, paste something into here or kind of fill this stuff up and we save our map we will only go so far up because the chunks above us have not been created so we need a couple of things to do that and again this will be covered in a much more detailed uh, tutorial uh, but I'm going to just kind of quickly go through it just to kind of go just to show you really so I'm going to say here we're going to add a filter and um, I've got this filter called create sub chunks which is amazing uh, and you have to kind of put that in so this one's called create whole chunks without terrain filter that. So now it's kind of wherever I've selected that area, it's now created sub chunks. Okay. Uh, I'm going to press escape, push that all the way down here. Uh, I'm now going to fill this up with some stone. And the reason I'm doing that is because I can have, I need to know <laughs> where my sub chunks are. Okay. Uh, so now I've got a kind of an area that is uh, stone in the bottom. I can, uh, I can now uh, I press escape. I'm going to go and import something. So I'm going to import a schematic. Uh, and schematics are selections of Minecraft worlds that have been turned into sort of data that we can kind of copy and paste and, and chuck around a little bit as well. So I'm going to say, uh, let's go to down, where is it? In documents, I think it is. And I've got something in MC Edit there. Double click that. We should have a schematics folder. I've got a medium heart, that'll do. I'm gonna put my medium heart in here. Okay, there it is. It's all in my sub chunk area. I'm gonna import that. And there we have a, and deselect it, and there we have a stone heart. Uh, and again, that's a tutorial, how on earth I created all this. You can find out much later. Uh, I'm gonna press save, and I'm gonna just save this project as it is, okay? And then we're going to go back into um, Minecraft Education Edition and see what has happened. So make sure you never open the map and Minecraft uh, Minecraft MC Edit at the same time, because it will it will go horribly wrong for you. <laughs> Quit that. Okay. And then uh, off to um, off to Minecraft Education Edition. Click on my Void World. Open that folder back up and see. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, that giant heart that we just imported. Oh, it's very dark. Oh yeah, it's night, isn't it? Let's do time set day. And there we go. 
and then we can kind of have a look here. I wish you could fly up fast. There we go. Here's our giant heart that we've just created, and of course the kind of the area down the bottom. So you can build extremely quickly uh, and create some quite stunning effects uh, using MC Edit and using Void Worlds as well because there's nothing around here at all for miles and miles. We don't get distracted with uh, normal uh, Minecraft uh, um, backdrop backgrounds or a kind of a giant uh, a giant flat world that kind of goes on forever and ever. We are just uh, we've just got kind of the things that are straight in front of us. Great for map makers and other people like that who want to create kind of bespoke uh, um, uh, ideas uh, and other kind of little mini games and things like that too. So I hope that's inspired you. If you have any comments or questions, do leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't liked the video, a nice thumbs up and a like would be appreciated. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, that'd be also very much appreciated as well. Until next time, thank you very much for your time and attention, and I'll see you all later. Bye bye.